one of the most uh, destructive effects of trauma is when uh, stress response systems in the brain become dysregulated. And these systems develop when you're young in utero, and then after you're born, uh, the rhythmic regulatory interactions with your parents and loved ones help further shape the, these systems in a way that essentially your, your stress response neurobiology is, is the rhythm. And they're very, very, very responsive to pattern, repetitive, rhythmic input that's somatosensory. And, and somato means body, so like movement. So rhythmic movement regulates these networks. And rhythmic uh, sounds also regulate these systems. And so when you put together rhythmic sounds of something that somebody's saying with movement, it's a, it's a powerful double input to this dysregulated system that you can use pattern, repetitive, rhythmic activity to restore regulatory balance and it makes people healthy. So the beauty of hip hop and rhythmic uh, activities that are rhythmic in multiple domains, which hip hop is, it's, it's rhythmic in, in both motor, it's rhythmic in social domains because you engage the people you're with and you engage them and you re-engage and it's got rhythm to how you engage the people around you and then it's rhythmic in the language. And so the combination of a cognitive, a relational, and a sort of regulatory rhythm makes it a very, very powerful tool to use in therapy, but also a very powerful tool to use in teaching.